Got a couple of these fittings, uh, salvage from the skip. Metal halide is in here, but I'm looking at converting this to a low pressure sodium, which would be quite good. But this thing opened up. So I've got a metal halide capsule in here at the moment. I've got old sodium here. That bulb should fit. And there's a high pressure sodium, that's 150. I'm not sure what rating this thing is. I'm going to plug this in, see if it works. And I check the sodium and then I convert the device for uh, low pressure. So I'll take all the guts out of this thing and modify it to suit the purpose. Okay, energized device, see what happens. Oh yeah, it works. Quick start up. Don't let it go up to full power because it gets hot. So I'm going to de energize this shortly and then analyze the situation. Let's go through the car for a little bit. Diffuser on here. So the device works alright. Greenish glow. I need to put the camera on 50 hertz. I'm pretty bright here at the moment. There's the rectux. There's the lamp. Deanna charge device. Well, changing over the fitting was easier than I thought. Little extra holes in there already pre tapped, so I've taken the Edison 40 out and put the B22 in here. Now I'm gonna make from this point a stand up bracket to support the sodium lamp so we can uh, secure that so it doesn't all hang on the fitting. And then I'll put the uh, convert the ballast and the igniter and put it in here. Put them in loose first and then see if it works first. It is very hot and uh, just a little break of fiddling around with this. So I finally made up a bracket here. So that will, the B22 fitting is fitted. I didn't even have to drill holes. And a U shaped bracket. And I've got this. This is a broken bulb. But I'll stick it in here for now. That is just the measurements. And it fits in perfect. And I've drilled some holes here. So I can put a, a wire support here so the bulb doesn't sag. I'm just taking the gear tray out here and I'm going to get a suitable ballast, probably 70 VA with a fluoro ballast in series. Uh, change the igniter. This is a 400, 400 watt igniter. And change the capacitor. I may not even put a capacitor in there. So that's the plan. I'm repopulating uh, the gear tray and just checking out that these two ballasts. 70 VA and a 40, these together seem to be adequate to give me about 320 milliampere. So, I'm not sure if you connect the capacitor for microfarad, and this is an N70 igniter. So, I'm gonna put it, uh, drill some holes, and put it in, and then here. Uh, yeah. well, I've got the gear, tray, the gear tray assembled here 40 VA and a 70 in series capacitor and the N70, and uh, I'm gonna put it in the device here. And uh, hopefully it's going to work out. Should fit. Not that wires. That looks pretty good. It's in quite snug here, and then a matter of uh, wiring this up and uh, give it a test run. Energized device, test run. And the lamp is glowing, I'll see it's hot warming up. Oh, 
Hold it home. It's going, it's working, beautiful. That will look good tonight. Oh, this looks good, this down. Beautiful. Stunning colour. Stunning. SOX Dome.